Well, today I thought I would cover this uh, new instrument that I just acquired. It's an HP 3488A switch controller unit. Uh, you can uh, this unit can be populated with various uh, switch options. You uh, can get uh, up to six different modules for this uh, for this unit, and uh, it has uh, five bays on the back that you can uh, mix and match different uh, switching modules. Uh, one of the modules is a, uh, a 10 channel multiplex uh, uh, module. The other one's a general purpose relay module. It's 10 channels. Uh, another one is the uh, VHF switch option, which this one has. And this has five uh, dual port uh, eight channel switches. You can also get a uh, four by four matrix option and you can get a 16-bit digital I.O. option for this unit as well. And I think the last one here is a breadboard option that allows you to uh, come up with your own uh, setup if you'd like. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the buttons in here are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can control virtually the entire instrument with only a couple exceptions from the control panel. So let's take a look at the back here. And we got lots and lots and lots of B and C's. Now we got the first card here. It's a dual dual port four channel. Same thing here. Same thing here. So I have a total of forty ports. I don't think I'll ever use them all. I think I'll, about the most I'll ever use is probably this first <laughs> this first board here. But hey, it was a screaming good deal, and uh, so. I was not going to complain. And it also came with this really nice, really nice manual. It uh, has uh, samples of code in it that you can use to identify which boards are in which slots and so forth. So with that, so let me get this thing plugged in and hooked up and uh, we'll do just a little quick demonstration on some of its functions. Okay, we got it hooked up here, but I want to kind of go through some of the uh, cool functions this thing does. Now we got, in order to open or close a contact, we use these two buttons here. So if I wanted to close port, or card one, port zero, zero, I press the close button, card one, port zero, zero. And now that card, or that relay is closed. I wanna open it, I do the same thing, 100. Now it's open again. I can also uh, set up what is called a scan list where I can instruct the instrument to step through different ports on the back just by setting up a list. So say I want to, I've got uh, two ports used right now. So I can set up a scan list and it's going to be card one, port zero, zero, and card one, port one. We enter that and then I can press the step button and step back and forth between those two uh, uh, ports. Now if I want to see which ones are being selected we can go to the card monitor button select the card to monitor which is card one get that going and uh, now we can see that uh, the port one is active we can go step again and now port zero is active kind of neat. You can also, um, if you have a, a, a complicated setup, you got, uh, you know, multiple cards all hooked up, you got multiple relays closed, and you want to store that setup, well, then you can store it. So we can uh, take our setup here, press the store button, enter register one, and now that's stored. So if I wanted to uh, come back to that, and say we can do the reset here, and now I want to recall uh, that setup. We can press the recall button, register one, and now the relays are all back into the same position that they were before. So, yeah, and then uh, these buttons here, uh, these are pretty much reserved for the digital I.O. board, which I don't have. All the other buttons will, will, will work just fine. Uh, we got a, uh, a view button here, so if you wanted to view 
uh, let's see here. Let's view, uh, well, port card one, port zero, zero. It says it's closed. And if we want to view the condition of port one, we can do that, and it says it's open. Pretty cool. So let's uh, go on to the next thing here, and we'll uh, do a little quick demonstration. All righty, we got uh, our two signal sources. We got the uh, HP uh, 3325A on, let's see, port 0, and the 8644A on port 1, which is in the back here, so it's pretty cramped. And then uh, we're going to use the scope here to observe. So now we can go back to the front panel and we can close port card one, port zero, Just execute, and there we are. Now we can go to the same method and close port or card one, port one, and voila. And you don't have to open the previous relay. It uh, automatically does it for you. You can't close both relays at once uh, on the same port, at least with these cards anyway. And uh, now we can... Now, if I want to do uh, just toggle between those two and uh, to see what's going on, we can set up a, a scan list. So let's do it again. Set up a scan list, and we're going to set up a card one port zero and port or card one port one now use the step button and step back and forth between those two allows us to uh, compare the signals so we could actually go to square wave on that one and uh use the step button Cool. Really neat. Now, this thing's got a whole host of uh, HPIB functionality too, and uh, we'll cover a couple of those briefly. Now, a lot of times I'll go through my manuals and uh, we'll find code segments or example programs. Now, these are all written typically in uh, HP Basic. Uh, this one here is written for uh, an HP 85. That's a fairly old computer. They're, uh, they're neat old computers, but uh, they're hard to come across uh, in good working condition, and uh, when they are found, they're, you know, pretty astronomical in price, just because it's old hardware, vintage hardware, and some of that uh, seems to command some pretty spendy prices. So, my alternative is to use uh, my, my Windows machine here that I have remote mounted. Uh, is to run an application called, uh, uh, use a, a software package called HT Basic, and uh, it allows me to write and run software for these older computers. So if I wanted to run this application here, which will go out and list every card in the, uh, in the switch controller, I can uh, sit there and do it this way. I can also do it, you know, using uh, some uh, some console-based uh, software that I have for Windows. But it's a little more uh, cumbersome and harder to uh, script for this. So for this, we will have I have it all typed in. I had to do a, you know have some very small, minor changes to the syntax. But let's run it, and when we do, it shows the card slot type here and. The, uh, the card, the individual card slots, and what's installed. So that's always fun to do. And there's a lot of other small programs in here that I can run that uh, you know do a lot of cool stuff. And uh, can use uh, HT Basic for that as well. But anyway, uh, another application I use is just a console-based one. It's uh, KE5FX's uh, uh, GPIB tools. It's free, and uh, it. There's a lot of uh, really cool uh, applications you can run on this. And uh, one of the ones that I like to mess with occasionally is it 
you can send text messages to uh, various instruments. You can send a text message to the display of this unit, and uh, I can also do it to my, my multimeter there. I can do it to the, uh, uh, the uh, signal generator. I can also send text messages to my power meter. And of course, uh, to uh, various other instruments that I have here. Uh, my uh, 20 gigahertz frequency counter, I can do the same thing with that. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're... You and your lab mates uh, are about done doing all your test and measurement uh, chores. And you want to send a message to one of your buddies. And uh, so you can either uh, you know, tell them, hey, uh, hook up this, uh, this device under test, blah, blah, blah. Or you can tell them it's beer 30. And uh, I think I may still have that. Listen here. Oh, there we go. So I can use this, uh, this program. It's called Talk. And I can send a string of text to the display. So at the end of the day, say, hey, let's, uh, you know, it's beer 30. <laughs> yeah, so it's just goofing around, having fun. But anyway, I think I'll call it quits for now. I'll, uh, there's a couple other videos I'd like to make. I think I'll do one just kind of just doing overall the uh, the instruments I've acquired over the years and so forth so with that I'll catch you guys later thanks for watching and uh, have an awesome day